Hey, what's up everyone? This is Gary with GameStorm, and this is going to be a, a pickup that I got back around Christmas time. Um, it's a really big Sega Genesis pickup. Uh, I got all of this all at the same time, and uh, after I show you everything, I'll tell you how much I paid for everything. So, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you where I got it from. So first off, it comes with the console, the Model 1 Sega Genesis. Came with uh, the instruction manual. It's a little ripped there, but it's pretty cool. Didn't come with the box though. Came with a power cord and everything. Came with, it's still a little dusty, but came with this controller here, which I've never seen before. It's interesting, it has like slow motion and turbo auto fire for the buttons. Came with this controller right here, which is an SG Pro Pad 6. Looks like it has some programmable features for the buttons, possibly for fighting games. And came with this power pad right here. Also came with the justifier, which I hope still works. It's not clicking, but that's cool. And I think this might be a PlayStation 1 memory card that's in the box. I didn't even notice that. And also in here, came with this, there's like uh, manuals and stuff in here for games that aren't here. And like the manual for like that ProPad 6, I guess, to help program it. And there's also like printed out codes, cheat codes and stuff from the internet. You know? Yeah, it's got several manuals that I guess I don't have games for like real monsters and I think I have this one loose in there, Toy Story yeah, anyway those are some of the manuals I don't want to show you too many of them because we'll give some of the games away alright first off I'm gonna start off with the loose cartridges we have Robocop versus Terminator, which I've heard this is a pretty good game. I haven't played it yet, so pretty excited to play that. Kawasaki Superbike Challenge. Never played that either. Family Feud. Winter Olympic Games and Monopoly Lethal Enforcers to go with the uh, the Justifier Star Trek Deep Space Nine Crossroads of Time and it's got all of these stickers on the back of it, like blockbuster stickers. <clears throat> Afterburner 2, which will be a devil because I already have this game and I really enjoy playing that. Here's another devil that I have. Jungle Strike. That's a pretty cool game too. Echo, the Tides of Time. I don't have this game, but I have the first one. Oh. 
hard driving, which I've never played the Genesis version, but I've played the arcade version. The arcade version was pretty cool. It was a sit-down arcade machine, had a manual, the manual transmission with a clutch and everything. And it had, it was like the first arcade game that had like force feedback on the steering wheel, so it really felt like you were driving a car. It was pretty cool. Caesar's Palace. Tommy Lasorda Baseball. And Toy Story, which I showed you the manual for that already. And this is the one I'm most excited about. It is Barbie Supermodel. No, just kidding. <laughs> but my daughter will enjoy playing that. All right, let's get to the box games. Okay, this will be a devil. I already have this one, but I don't have it in the original box. I have it in a Universal game case with a printed cover, so I may just keep this one and uh, probably sell the other one or trade it off. But Miss Pac Man, I already have Sonic the Hedgehog also, but I don't have it in the original case. This is the not for resale version. But some of these games are complete, some of them are missing the manual. But I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna open each one of them to check yet. It'll take too long in this video. Now this one has a damaged case, so I may be able to fix that. The little plastic flap is gone, but it's Spider-Man, X-Men. Haven't played that. Now here's a pretty cool RPG on the Genesis. And it's complete. Shining in the Darkness. And here's one with a very sun faded cover. Justice League Task Force. I'm gonna have to reprint the cover for that. 688 Attack Sub. Tecmo Super Bowl, which I hope this is as fun as the uh, Tecmo Bowl series on the NES because I remember playing those and those were really fun. Tecmo Super Bowl 2. California Games. Sports title, Triple Play Gold Edition. This will be a double also, but I don't have it in the, in the case. World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. I've played this one. It's pretty fun. I like Castle of Illusion better. There's another one with a really sun-faded cover, which I'm going to have to replace. The Lion King. I don't know if you can see that. It's really washed out. I've played The Lion King. It's pretty fun. Um, really hard though. You wouldn't think so for a Disney game. But extremely difficult. Risk. Funny, I've never played Risk. Never played the board game or any video game. Uh, Risk. Okay, here is the Sega Classics version of Column. This case, I notice, says WWF Raw, but when I opened it up, it is the WWF Raw game, but the manual doesn't match. The manual is WrestleMania, the arcade game. So that's kind of weird. <laughs> It's got a completely different manual in it than what the game is. 
Here's another game that should be pretty cool if it's anything like the um, NES game. Championship Pro-Am in the cardboard box. Here's another sports game in the cardboard box. It's Mario Andretti Racing. And here's another double that I have that I don't have it in its original box, which is looking a little rough. It's kind of dented there on the side, but it's a Road Rash 2. And this box is crushed a little bit also. It is TNN Outdoors Bass Tournament 96. <laughs> don't really know what that is. I mean, I know it's a fishing game, but I don't know if it's any fun or not. And I think this is the very last cartridge release on the Sega Genesis. It is a Frogger in its original cardboard case. Sonic Spinball, which is a devil, I have it already. NBA Jam Tournament Edition, I have this game also already. I have these two also. Mortal Kombat 2 and Mortal Kombat. All right, now we're getting to the really good ones. This is in Sector X, and it's a shoot 'em up, side scrolling shoot 'em up. And I really like shoot 'em ups. And here is a game that I used to own when I had my Genesis originally back in the uh, late in 89 and early 90s, uh, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And I know this game is a little uh, pricey on eBay. I've seen it go for like 40 or 50 bucks. And I'm glad to have that back in my collection. And here is a double that I have already. Don't have it in the original case that I do now. The case is a little rough, as you can see, but it is Contra Hardcore. And that's an extremely difficult game. <laughs> I've played it several times and it's really hard. And here's one I have never played, but I'm excited to play it. I've been wanting, wanting this game for a while, but haven't been able to find it. It's Earthworm Jim in the original cardboard case. And this was a game I was the most excited to get out of the whole bunch. It's in its original case. It's in the cardboard case. And, I mean, the cardboard case is a little rough, but it's Castlevania Bloodlines. And I haven't played this game yet, but I've heard really good things about it, so very excited to play that. Okay, my uh, I got a, uh, this will be the story about how I got all this. Uh, I didn't get it off of eBay or the internet. I uh, was just driving home one day with uh, me and my wife, and I got a text message from my nephew saying, hey. Do you, uh, are you interested in some uh, old Sega Genesis games? I said, sure. So, uh, he said that uh, he was helping a friend of his uh, move, so he saw these games in this, in this guy's uh, garage. He said, uh, what are you going to do with those games? And the guy said, I'm just going to throw them away. So he said, well, he said, uh, if you don't mind, I'll take them. And, uh, my uncle might be interested in them, so... To make it a long story short, uh, anyway, he uh, just gave them to me. They were free of charge. All of these all of these, these games are free, everything. So, it's probably the best pickup I've ever had. Uh, 
anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, like us on Facebook if you haven't yet, and uh, I'll put the link down in the uh, description below. And uh, this has been Gary with GameStorm. Thanks for watching.